This is question number seven. We're told the point P, four comma minus one, lies on the curve C with equation Y equals F of X, where X is greater than zero, and F dashed of X is equal to one half X minus six over root X plus three. In part A, we're asked to find the equation of the tangent to C at the point P, given our answer in the form Y is equal to MX plus C, where M and C are integers. The question carries four marks. The equation of a tangent is just the equation of a straight line. For the equation of a straight line, we need two things. We need a point that it goes through, which we've already got, which is P, and also a gradient. F dashed of X is the gradient function. So we could say that the gradient at the point P will be F dashed of four. So I'm just gonna write here, M, the gradient, is going to be equal to F dashed of four. So if we go ahead and do this, M will be equal to, and I'm gonna simply sub in four. So we're gonna have one half of four minus six over the square root of four plus three. So from this, we can see that M will be equal to two. The square root of four is two, so that's going to be minus three plus three. So we have now a gradient of two. We've got the point that it goes through, P, which is four comma minus one. So we simply need to sub these values into the equation of a straight line. I'm going to use y minus y1 is equal to m, the gradient, multiplied by x minus x1. You can, of course, use y is equal to mx plus c. So we'll have y minus minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 4. So on the left, y plus 1. On the right, 2x minus 8. So we can write this in the form y is equal to mx plus c as y is equal to 2x minus 9. So four marks for part A. We've simply gone ahead now, subbed in the value of four into the gradient function. Remember, the derivative is the gradient function. We found the values, plugged them in, and simplified our answer. In part B, we need to find f of x. The question carries four marks. If we integrate the gradient function, we can find f of x. So I can write that y will be equal to the integral of one half x. I'm just going to rewrite this now. I'm going to write this as a negative power. We'll have minus six x to the power of minus one half plus three, and we're integrating with respect to x. So if I integrate the gradient function, I'm going to get the original function back. So we can say that y will be equal to raising by a power and dividing by the new power. We can say one half x squared divided by two minus 6x, we raise by a power, which will be the positive one half power, and divide by the new power, plus raise by a power, and divide by the new power, plus our constant of integration. So let's go ahead and tidy this up. We've got y is equal to 1 quarter x squared, minus 12x to the power of 1 half, or if you like, the root of x, plus 3x plus c. We need to find the value of C. We can take that at the point P. So simply subbing these values in, we can say that minus one will be equal to one quarter of the X coordinate of P. One quarter of four squared will give me one quarter of 16. Minus 12 lots of now four, and that's going to be the square root of four, which is going to give me two, plus 12 lots of four, sorry, plus three lots of four, which is gonna give me 12. So let's just tidy that up a little, plus now the three lots of four plus C. So from this, we can go ahead now and solve four C. So we've got now minus one is equal to four minus 24 plus 12 plus C. So from this now, we can see that C is going to be equal to seven. So just write in the final answer, Y is equal to one quarter x squared minus 12x to the positive one half or the root of x plus 3x plus 7. So final answer for four marks. A couple of different ways you can do that and write it but this should be the final answer.